Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In the computer world, when someone screams RAID, it's generally not a bad thing. Unless, of course, something bad just happened with RAID. Or, or you work at LulzSec. That as well. <laughs> uh, the idea of RAID, of course, is to further optimize your storage setup, depending on what you needed to optimize. Uh, so what about comparing RAID 0 with, say, RAID 5? So most computers have four port, you know, four IDE, four SATA, four whatever channels. So let's assume you have four disks. If you have RAID 0 and you take your four disks, you can have four one terabyte drives present as a single four terabyte drive. On a RAID 0. On a RAID 0. And if each of those drives was capable of going one gigabyte per second, they're probably faster than that, but just to make the math easy, you'd have four gigabytes of write speed or read speed. So you'd be getting four times faster, four times larger, but you'd also have four times the likelihood of the world ending because if one of those drives dies, they're all dead. On a RAID 0. On a RAID 0. So there's another format called RAID 5. What RAID 5 does is it does striping across the drives. So if you had four drives on RAID 5, on RAID 5, you'd have three drives for storage, and one for parity. And what would happen is, as long as only one of those drives failed, they would all still work. You'd have three times as much storage, so four one terabyte drives would present as three terabytes. Your reads would be three times faster than they were, and your writes would be the same to half as fast as with one drive. So it's not perfect, but it's not bad. And there are some optimizations where you can get to like a writes are 50% faster than one drive, but generally a little slower than with one drive. So it seems like RAID 5 is a pretty good idea. RAID 5 is a great idea. And the nice thing is that while we're talking about four drives, I have had storage arrays with 26 drives. And in RAID 5, I get the storage of 25 drives for out of those 26. So I could put 26 terabytes of real drives, get 25 terabytes of drive, and it would all present as one big array, one big drive. And as long as no two of those drives ever failed at the same time, all of my data would be safe. If any one drive failed, I'd be safe. But if two of them say and fail at the exact same time, or before I get the thing fixed, then all of my data is still safe. How do you know if the drive in a, let's say, RAID 5 setup has failed? Uh, the RAID array monitors for that constantly. And, you know, it used to be alarms would go off at, in my particular place, and then I would know, or you get an email, or... Do you have to have the same drive, same speed, same capacity? You generally try and match them exactly, because you're only going to get the scale of the smallest drive. So if you have or one terabyte drives and a 750 gigabyte drive, you're actually only going to get five times 750, not four terabytes plus 750. Mm -hmm.